I'm actually going to be working with a company that um, um, it's predominantly black. I think there's uh, one young lady that's Hispanic there. Um, however, because of the line of work and who the clients will be, that may have an impact on how I can wear my hair. Um, now, I do recall when I was working for the Department of Justice, I had one of my friends who was a paralegal, and um, she had beautiful hair anyway, but then she decided that she was going natural, and um, I think, I don't can't remember if um, she cut her hair or transitioned, I want to say she transitioned, but she was doing all these different styles to her hair, and really, I thought they looked nice. But some of the people had, and it, when I say some of the people, it wasn't who you would have thought. It was some of our own people that had a problem with her um, hairstyles. And I couldn't understand that because my thing was, unless she was actually meeting with the client where maybe, you know, she could, you know, do her hair different, like pull it back, you know, or whatever. And she, she did that a lot, pulled her hair back. But still, her hair looked very professional and nice. But some people had a difficult time with it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to try to make, you know, show my blackness or my ethnicity. Because everybody can see that I'm black. But I am going to play it by ear. And I do know that when it gets warmer, I do want to, you know, do styles where I may not have my hair all out but I will have it in like a protective style or something so um, of course I will have to have uh, that conversation when it, it you know we cross that road but it's just the idea of uh, you know um, having to make a decision between your hair and who you are and you know employment so Right now, uh, like I said, I'm really excited about my new job opportunity and so forth. So I don't want to make any unnecessary um, dents in the road at this beginning. Um, that's why I did invest in the wigs. So I will be doing the wigs. But when it gets really, really nice, um, I'm going to have to break out. <laughs> so at that time, I will just, um, you know, look at it. I'm sure that won't be a problem with braids either because sometimes I've uh, had braids where I have my hair um, out or I will have it braided to a certain point and then have the rest of it um, you know out loose or whatever but um, you know I am enjoying my hair so very much I do miss it when it's underneath the wig and when I take the wig off I'm like my hair is like mommy will you please do something with me and uh, it just, I was even up last night until it was way after 12 doing my hair because uh, I was just determined I was going to give it the TLC that it deserved. But um, I'm going to make sure that I do everything in my power to, um, you know, take care of my hair. And uh, if I have to condense it where I won't be able to do so much natural things, I will do what I can do. And then as I can incorporate them back in, I will. But um, with that, I'm just going to say goodnight because I need to get busy and get some things taken care of, print out some homework, and um, also um, just get prepared for tomorrow. And it's so funny because normally on Sundays, um, I do, and it's been like that for years. I have a challenge with really just getting to bed and going to sleep normally. Um, um, I'll find something to do around 8.30 and 9 o'clock and I could be up until like 10 or 11. But tonight, I'm really going to do my best to at least be in the bed by no later than 10. If I can get in before then, that's going to be good. But that's my goal to get in the bed by 10. So with that, I'll talk to you later. And um, I have class tomorrow evening. So probably the earliest that I will do a video uh, will be Wednesday evening because I have class Monday and Tuesday. And if I work too much late Wednesday, um, I probably won't do another video until the weekend. But until then, I'll talk to you later. And I just want to really thank all of you who have been praying for me and just really encouraging me so much. I really appreciate you. And I just ask you to pray for me. Because I've been out of the loop for a while and there's some things that um, 
even though I learned I haven't done them for a while. So I know they're going to be looking for somebody to come in and take over and just be able to do it. And um, I just ask God to give me the strength to be able to do what I need to do. So with that, I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Peace. Love you. God bless.